Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will do a basic review of subtracting fractions. Subtracting fractions is similar to adding fractions in which your denominators must be the same. For an example, 7 over 9 minus 4 over 9. My denominators are the same, so I'm going to subtract my numerators. 7 minus 4 is going to give us 3. That's going to be over 9. And in this example here, I can actually simplify my 3 over 9 because 3 goes into 3. This is going to equal 1. And then 9 divided by 3, this is going to equal 3. So your answer is going to be 3 over 9 or 1 over 3. Let's look at this example here, 3 over 20 minus 2 over 20. My denominators are the same, so I'm going to subtract my numerators. 3 minus 2 is going to give us 1. That's going to be over 20. So your final answer is 1 over 20. 5 over 12 minus 1 over 8. Notice here my denominators are not the same. So in this example, I need to find a common denominator. So I'm going to write my 12 here and my 8. And we're going to look for the multiples of 12 and 8. We have 12, 24, 36, and 48. And we'll stop here for now. And then for 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40, and we'll stop here for now. The lowest common multiple between 12 and 8 is going to be the number 24. So I know I need to get the number 24 in my denominator. So we're going to look here, 5 over 12. What number do I need to multiply my 12 with that's going to give me 24 in the denominator? So let's look here. We have 1, 2. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 2. That's going to give me 24 in my denominator. Now let's look here, 1 over 8. What number do I need to multiply my 8 with that's going to give me 24 in the denominator? And that's going to be 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 3 because 8 times 3 is going to give me 24. Now we're going to multiply. So 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 12 is 24, perfect, that's what we're looking for, minus 1 times 3 is 3, over 8 times 3 is 24, and that's also perfect, that's what we're looking for. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to subtract my numerator, 10 minus 3 is going to give us 7, that's going to be over 24, and this is your final answer here. Let's try 17 over 25 minus 3 over 5. So this example, my denominators are not the same, so I do need to find a common denominator. So we're going to list the multiples of 25. So we have 25, 50, and 75, and we'll stop here for now. For my 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30, and we will stop here for now. My lowest common multiple between 25 and 5 is going to be the number 25. Remember, the best thing to do is to find the lowest common multiple. Since it's 25, I need to make sure I get the number 25 in my denominator. So we're going to look here, 17 over 25. What number do I need to multiply my 25 with that's going to give me 25? I already have 25 in my denominator. So you can just write 17 over 25 because I already have 25 in my denominator. But I'm going to multiply by 1 because 25 times 1, which is right here, is going to give me 25. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 1. And let's look over here, 3 over 5. What number do I need to multiply my 5 with that's going to give me 25 in the denominator? That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 5 is going to give me 25 in my denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5. Now we're going to multiply. 1 times 17 is going to be 17. 1 times 25 is 25 perfect. Minus 3 times 5 is 15. 
over five times five is 25. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm gonna subtract my numerators. So 17 minus 15 is going to equal two. That's gonna be over 25. And this is your final answer. Let's try 28 over 37 minus 17 over 37. In this example here, my denominators are the same, so I am going to subtract my numerator. So 28 minus 17, eight minus seven is gonna equal one, two minus one is gonna equal one. So 28 minus 17 is going to equal 11. That's gonna be over 37. Since I cannot simplify any further, your final answer is 11 over 37. Let's try nine over 10 minus four over 10. Notice here my denominators are the same, so I'm going to subtract my numerator. So nine minus four is gonna equal five, that's gonna be over 10. In this example here, I can actually simplify this answer because five goes into five and 10. So five divided by five, this is gonna equal one, and then 10 divided by five, this is gonna equal two. So your answers are going to be five over 10 or one over two. Let's try three over five minus one over two. My denominators are not the same, so I need to find a common denominator. So we're gonna find the multiples of five and two. For my five, we have five, 10, 15, 20, and I'll stop here for now. And my two, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and I will stop here for now. My lowest common multiple between five and two is going to be the number 10. So that means I need to get the number 10 in my denominator. So we're going to look here, three over five. What number do I need to multiply my five with to get 10 in the denominator? That's gonna be one, two. Multiply top and bottom by two. Let's look here, one over two. What number do I need to multiply my two with? That's gonna give me a 10 in the denominator. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna to multiply top and bottom by five. Now we're going to multiply. So two times three is six over two times five is 10, perfect. One times five is five over two times five is 10. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to subtract my numerators. So six minus five is going to equal one. This is gonna be over 10. So your final answer is one over 10. Five over six minus three over eight. In this example here, my denominators are not the same. So I do need to find a common denominator. We're gonna list the multiples of six and eight. For six, we have six, 12, 18, and 24, and we will stop here for now. And for my eight, we have eight, 16, 24, and 32, and we'll stop here for now. My lowest common multiple between six and eight is the number 24. So that means I need to get the number 24 in my denominator. So we're going to look here, five over six. What number do I need to multiply my six with to get 24 in the denominator? This is gonna be one, two, three, Four. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number four. And let's look here, three over eight. What number do I need to multiply my eight with to get 24 in the denominator? That's going to be one, two, three. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number three. Now we're going to multiply four times five is 20. Four times six is 24. Minus three times three is nine over eight times three is going to give us 24. My denominators are the same, so I'm gonna subtract my numerator. So we have 20 minus nine, zero minus nine, that's gonna give us a negative number, so I'm gonna borrow from this two. This two is gonna become a one, this zero here is gonna become a 10. So 10 minus nine is one, and then one minus your imaginary zero is gonna equal one. So 20 minus nine is going to be 11. That's gonna be over 24. And since I cannot simplify any further, your final answer is 11 over 24. 
let's try 7 over 11 minus 4 over 11. My denominators are the same, so I'm going to subtract my numerators. So 7 minus 4 is going to equal 3, and that's going to be over 11. My final answer is 3 over 11. Let's try 5 over 6 minus 3 over 4. Notice here my denominators are not the same, so I do need to find a common denominator. So we're going to find the multiples of 6 and 4. For 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And we'll stop here for now. And then for my 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And we will stop here for now. The lowest common multiple between 6 and 4 is going to be the number 12. You can also use the number 24. However, the best thing to do is to find the lowest common multiple. So in this example, I'm going to use the number 12. So that means we do need to get 12 in our denominator. So I'm going to look here, 5 over 6. What number do I need to multiply my 6 with to get 12 in the denominator? So we're going to get 1, 2. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 2. Let's look here, 3 over 4. What number do I need to multiply my 4 with to get 12 in the denominator? So 1, 2, 3. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 3. So now we're going to multiply 2 times 5 is 10 over 2 times 6. That's 12. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. 3 times 3 is 9 over 4 times 3 is 12. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to subtract my numerator. So 10 minus 9 is going to equal 1. That's going to be over 12. So your final answer is 1 over 12. So let's look at the same example. So let's say we did use the number 24 instead of 12. So that means I'm going to get 24 in my denominator. I'm going to look here, 5 over 6. What number do I need to multiply my 6 with to get 24 in the denominator? This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 4. We're going to look here. What number do I need to multiply my 4 with to get 24 in the denominator? So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 6. Now we're going to multiply. So 4 times 5 is 20 over 4 times 6, that's 24, minus 3 times 6 is 18 over 4 times 6 is 24. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to subtract my numerators. So we have 20 minus 18. 0 minus 8 is going to give us a negative number, so I'm going to borrow. This 2 is going to become a 1. This 0 here is going to become a 10. So 10 minus 8 is 2, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So 20 minus 18 is going to be 2. That's going to be over 24. However, I can simplify this answer further. So 2 goes into both of these numbers. So 2 divided by 2 is going to equal 1. And then 24 divided by 2, this is going to equal 12. So your answer is going to be 2 over 24 or 1 over 12. So remember, you can use any one of the common multiples. However, the best one to use is the lowest common multiples. Let's try one more example, 2 over 3 minus 1 over 2. In this example, my denominators are not the same, so I do need to find a common denominator. I'm going to find the multiples of 3 and 2. So 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, and we'll stop here for now. And for my 2s, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and we will stop here for now. The lowest common multiple is going to be the number 6. So that means I need to get 6 in my denominator. So we're going to look here, 2 over 3. What number do I need to multiply my 3 with that's going to give me a 6 in the denominator? That's going to be 1, 2. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 2. Let's look here, 1 over 2. What number do I need to multiply my 2 with that's going to give me 6 in the denominator? So I'm going to multiply 1, 2, 3. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the number 3. 
Now we're going to multiply. Two times two is going to equal four. Two times three is six. Minus one times three is three over two times three is six. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to subtract my numerator. So four minus three is going to equal one and that's going to be over six. So your final answer is one over six. Okay, so that is all for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.